కృపావార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము దీనత్వము హ్యూమిలిటీ తగిన కాలముందు మీరు హెచ్చింపబడినట్లు ఆయన బలిష్టమైనటువంటి బాహువుల కింద దీన మనస్కులై యుండుడి హంబుల్ యువర్ సెల్స్ అండ్ ద మైటీ ఆర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ దట్ you will be lifted up in due time prathana vinadi avanuda prathana maaku nepumaya prathana vinadi pavanuda పరమ దేవుడావని తెలిసి కరములేతి జంట గమోక్షి పరమ దేవుడావని తెలిసి కరములేతి జంట గమోక్షి శిరమును వంచి సరిగను వేడిన సుంకరి ప్రార్థన నేర్పుమయ ప్రార్థన వినడి పావనుడా ప్రార్థన మాకు నేర్పుమయ శ్రేష్టమైన భావము గూర్చి శిష్య బృందముకు నేర్పితి శ్రేష్టమైన భావము గూర్చి శిష్య బృందముకు నేర్పితి పరముడ నిన్ను ప్రణుతించగను పరలోక ప్రార్థన నేర్పుమయ ప్రార్థన వినడి పావనుడా ప్రార్థన మాకు నేర్పుమయ శ్రేష్టమైన భావము గూర్చి శిష్య బృందముకు నేర్పితి పరముడ నిన్ను ప్రణుతించగను పరలోక ప్రార్థన నేర్పుమయ ప్రార్థన వినడి పావనుడా ప్రార్థన మాకు నేర్పుమయ పరమ దేవుడావని తెలిసి కరములేతి జంట గమోక్షి శిరమును వంచి సరిగను వేడిన శంకరి ప్రార్థన నేర్పుమయ శిరమును వంచి సరిగను వేడిన శంకరి ప్రార్థన నేర్పుమయ ప్రార్థన వినడి పావనుడా ప్రార్థన మాకు నేర్పుమయ దినములోన చేసిన సేవ దైవ చిత్తముకు సరిపోవా దినములోన చేసిన సేవ దైవ చిత్తముకు సరిపోవా దీనుడవయో అంటిగ కొండను చేసిన ప్రార్థన నేర్పుమయ ప్రార్థన వినడి పావనుడా ప్రార్థన మాకు నేర్పుమయ శాతృమోకనిను చోటుకొని శిలువ పైన నిను జంపగను 
శాస్త్రము కని చోటుకుని శిలువ పైన నిను జంపగను శాంతముతో శాత్రుల బ్రోవగ సలిపిన ప్రార్థన నేర్పుమయా ప్రార్థన వినిడి పావనుడా ప్రార్థన మాకు నేర్పుమయా దీనత్వము హ్యూమిలిటీ తగిన కాలమందు మీరు హెచ్చింపబడినట్లు ఆయన బలిష్టమైనటువంటి బాహువుల కింద దీన మనస్కులై ఉండు హంబుల్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ ద మైటీ ఆర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ దట్ యూ విల్ బీ లిఫ్టెడ్ అప్ ఇన్ డ్యూ టైమ్ తాళ్మైల్ కిడంద ఉన్నాయి తాళ్మైల్ కిడంద ఉన్నాయి తందయవాల్ని కిడువాడనిరకాళ్ళమే కలంగాదే ఉన్నద దేవనున్నుడనిరకాళ్ళమే కలంగాదే అవర్ నల్లవరే నృ వల్లవరే నన్మగళ్ కోరయాదే అవర్ నల్లవరే నృ వల్లవరే నన్మగళ్ కోరయాదే ఆవత్తిలిరంద ఉన్నయ్ పరిశుద్ధమా కిడువా ఆవత్తిలిరంద ఉన్నయ్ పరిశుద్ధమా కిడువా తాళ్మైల్ కిడంద ఉన్నయ్ తమ్ దయవాల్ నీ కిడువా తాళ్మైల్ కిడంద ఉన్నయ్ తమ్ దయవాల్ నీ కిడువా ఉన్నద దేవనున్నుడ నిరక ఉళ్ళమే కలంగాదే ఉన్నద దేవనున్నుడ నిరక ఉళ్ళమే కలంగాదే అవర్ నల్లవరే నృ వల్లవరే నన్మగళ్ కోరయాదే అవర్ నల్లవరే నృ వల్లవరే నన్మగళ్ కోరయాదే అన్నాళిల్ తం పాదం అమందాన్నాళిల్ జబం కేట అన్నాళిల్ తం పాదం అమందాన్నాళిల్ జబం కేట అనాదయాయిత విగారిన్ కోరై తీర్త అనాదయాయిత విగారిన్ కోరై తీర్త ఉన్నద దేవనున్నుడ నిరకాళ్ళమే కలంగాదే ఉన్నద దేవనున్నుడ నిరక ఉళ్ళమే కలంగాదే యేసు ఉన్మున్నడందానై కడందిడలా యేసు ఉన్మున్నడందానై కడందిడలా విశ్వాసమునకి రుందాల్ అంద ఎరుకోవై తగర్తిడలా విశ్వాసమునకి రుందాల్ అంద ఎరుకోవై తగర్తిడలా ఉన్నత దేవనున్నుడ నిరక ఉళ్ళమే కలంగాదే ఉన్నద దేవనున్నుడ నిరక ఉళ్ళమే కలంగాదే దీనత్వము 
హ్యూమిలిటీ తగిన కాలం ముందు మీరు హెచ్చింపబడినట్లు ఆయన బలిష్టమైనటువంటి బాహుల క్రింద దీని మనస్కులై ఉండుడి హంబుల్ యువర్ సెల్స్ అండ్ ద మైటీ ఆర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ దట్ యు విల్ బీ లిఫ్టెడ్ అప్ ఇన్ డ్యూ టైమ్ దీన దయాళుడయే సా నీ దాసుని ప్రార్థన వినుమా దీన దయాళుడయే సా నీ దాసుని ప్రార్థన వినుమా అడుగుడి మీ కీయబడు వెదకండి మీకు దొరకును అడుగుడి మీ కీయబడు వెదకండి మీకు దొరకును ప్రతి వాడు అడిగి పొందుమని అభయమునిచ్చిన ఏసయ్యా ప్రతి వాడు అడిగి పొందుమని అభయమునిచ్చిన ఏసయ్యా అభయమునిచ్చిన ఏసయ్యా దీన దయాళుడయే సా నీ దాసుని ప్రార్థన వినుమా దీన దయాళుడయే సా నీ దాసుని ప్రార్థన వినుమా తల్లి గర్భమున మొదలు కొని నన్నాదు కొన్నది నీవే కదా తల్లి గర్భమున మొదలు కొని నన్నాదు కొన్నది నీవే కదా సహాయకులెవరు లేరిలలో నీవేల దూరమునున్నావు సహాయకులెవరు లేరిలలో నీవేల దూరమునున్నావు నీవేల దూరమునున్నావు దీన దయాళుడయే సా నీ దాసుని ప్రార్థన వినుమా దీన దయాళుడయే సా నీ దాసుని ప్రార్థన వినుమా దీనతోమో హ్యూమిలిటీ తగిన కాల ముందు మీరు హెచ్చింపబడినట్లు ఆయన బలిష్టమైనటువంటి బాహుల క్రింద దీన మనస్కులై ఇండుడి హంబుల్ యోర్ సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ ద మైటీ ఆర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ దట్ యు విల్ బీ లిఫ్టెడ్ అప్ ఇన్ డ్యూ టైమ్ గ్రోత్ అప్లిఫ్ట్మెంట్ ప్రోగ్రెస్ డెవలప్మెంట్ comes from nowhere except God. This should be rooted in the heart of little ones. This should be sown as the seed <coughs> in the hearts of little children. Growth, upliftment, development, progress comes from nowhere but from god children should be grown in the atmosphere of faith prayer presence of god then the next generation of mankind will be fruitful will be lifted to great heights lifted up in all dimensions in all directions <coughs> because the seed <coughs> the word is planted in the hearts of the little children so we are preparing a generation of people for 
द किंगडम ऑफ गॉड फॉर द ग्लोरी ऑफ गॉड चिल्ड्रन शुड बी ब्रॉट अप इन द एनवायरनमेंट ऑफ फेथ प्रेयर एंड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ गॉड देन चिल्ड्रन विल हैव होली लाइफ गॉड फेयरिंग एटीट्यूड and they will have a very strong foundation built on the rock what will be the consequence they will be strong enough to face the troubles that are awaiting in the days ahead in the days forward this is the way the next generation to be made stronger made richer made healthier <coughs> the next generation of people should be founded on the rock founded on the faith in jesus christ this faith in christ will not put us to shame then there will be no failure there will be no regrets no loss no fall there will be progress development growth upliftment growth comes neither from east nor from west neither from the desert nor from the wilderness growth upliftment progress comes from god it should be rooted it should be sown in the fertile soil of the little ones how fertile the heart will be how clean the heart of little ones will be like a slate that is clean like a fertile soil <coughs> teach the child the way he should grow and he will not depart from the way when he is grown up the next generation of people should be brought up should be produced from the word of god enriched with the word of god we hear of enrichment of uranium with the intention of making weapons of mass destruction greater and greater enrichment of uranium in a particular isotope uranium 233 fissile material that is having potential for explosion causing much damage causing much destruction on the contrary we can use such great power in a very fruitful manner provided we enrich the hearts the minds of little ones children with the word of god there is greater power indeed in nuclear reactions the stars the suns how are we getting light from the suns from the stars it is because of the nuclear fusion reactions much energy is released and the energy is emitted in the form of light how many light years distance distant are the stars from man yet <coughs> the loving mother teaches the child the beautiful rhyme twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky the little ones learn from the bosom of their mother the beautiful rhymes the star is glowing like a diamond in the sky 
what is the source of the light it is because of the fusion reactions of helium isotopes very small nuclei are undergoing fusion reactions to give such mighty power <coughs> enrichment of uranium to a very facile material rich in a particular isotope makes the material strong explosive with potential for great damage <coughs> on the contrary instead of enriching uranium if we enrich the little ones in the fear of god enrich soak the minds the hearts of little ones in the precious milk of the word of god what will be the consequence they will be filled with such a mighty power the power that is far higher than that is available in the facile material far higher than the energy that is released in the fusion reactions in the stars is available in the word of god so to harness such potential to harness such power to harness such energy the children the next generation should be brought up in the fear of god humble yourself under the mighty arms of the lord that you will be lifted up in due time fusion of very small nuclei leading to helium formation helium nuclei and release a fast amount of energy in the fusion reactions there is power in the <coughs> word of god when the word of the lord is hidden in the hearts of the children they will grow into great leaders they will grow into fruit bearing trees <coughs> god was with joseph and joseph was successful when will be the when will the presence of god is secured when the presence of god is guaranteed when there is the word of god in the heart <coughs> the presence of god will be guaranteed wherever joseph was joseph possessed the word of god whether at home or away from home whether he is with his father or far away from his father in loneliness what joseph possessed joseph possessed the word of god so joseph could shine forth the light in times of loneliness in times of sorrow in times of humiliation in times of agony in times of <coughs> seemingly hopeless situations in times of being misunderstood 
in times of being accused in times of being ill treated in times of being put in prison cast into the prison joseph possessed one thing that is the word of the lord the word of the lord was hidden in the heart of joseph how is this possible do joseph carry the scroll the torah the bible the scriptures did joseph ever carry the scrolls the scriptures with him where are the scrolls where is the torah where is the bible where are the scriptures during the times of joseph nothing there was no written law how joseph got hold of the word of god joseph was very much loved by jacob jacob prepared a beautiful garment tunic for his son that was born in his old age jacob loved joseph so much that he brought a very special attire garment so beautiful so appealing so attractive if jacob were to love joseph so much are we not loved by god so much did god not provide the garment of salvation to each one of us through the offering sin offering of his only begotten son jesus christ of course the satan aims at corrupting our garment of salvation just as the siblings of joseph has done they will do not like one thing man being loved by god man loving god the bond the relationship between man and god is hated by devil just like the siblings of joseph hated the relationship between jacob and joseph they could not tolerate the love between jacob and joseph cain could not tolerate the relationship between hebel and god <coughs> pride pride and humbleness are two opposite things humility and pride are the opposite hebel possessed humility so hebel was loved by god and his offering was accepted by god on the contrary cain was filled with pride hatred i will offer the offering and at any cost god has to oblige god is obliged to accept my offering god has to receive my offering god should not deny my offering is that the way to please god should we impose conditions of on god it all depends on the state of our heart if our heart is pleasing in the sight of god if our heart is aligned and inclined and longing for the presence of god all our offerings will be acceptable to god if our heart were to be wandering on the worldly things leading to separation from god filled with pride filled with hatred why at all god has to accept our offering god has accepted the offering of hebel and god has rejected my offering so i will kill my brother don't we see so much hatred in this world don't we see so much violence in this world why lack of humility lack of humility god has rejected my offering why god has rejected my offering why god has accepted the offering of my neighbor what is lacking in me in what way i am displeasing god what are my errors what are my mistakes where i have to correct is there such contemplation is there repentance is there confession is there change is there transformation is there conversion of heart conversion 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 missionaries are converting so i'll put petrol and diesel on missionaries and i will burn don't we see so many missionaries being ill treated persecuted who is at loss if the missionaries were martyred if the missionaries were stoned if the missionaries were burnt nothing is 
a loss to the servants of god the servants of god are not going to lose anything with all their humility with all their patience with all their service they will go and rest at the most holy place god has reserved a particular place of rest for all the martyrs starting from hebel to zechariah that has been persecuted between the altar and the temple all the saints have found their rest their resting place just in the presence of god right before the throne of the lord most high there is an altar the most holy place that is pleasing in the sight of the lord under the altar all these saints that have been martyred from hebel to zechariah that has been persecuted between the altar and the temple has been resting what a wonderful privilege what a wonderful blessing who is at loss who has lost the privilege who has lost the blessing who has lost the lost the entrance into the celestial city the pride the violent should we forego the forgiveness that is in jesus christ <clears throat> If we confess our sins, He is just and faithful that He will forgive all our unrighteousness. He will cleanse us from all our unrighteousness and make us clean just by humbling, just by showing humility and confessing, repenting, converting. confession repentance conversion that's all the moment the child comes to his father by repenting by confessing by converting of heart by conversion of heart everything is forgiven if we confess our sins he is just and faithful that he will cleanses of all our unrighteousness and makes us pure makes us clean makes us righteous prodigal son <coughs> a rich person has two sons the eldest and the oldest the rich person loved both the sons with equal love the youngest son <coughs> thinking that he is lacking liberty thinking that he is lacking freedom desires to have his share of wealth takes his share of inheritance from his father the land the riches the gold the wealth and all that he should get he will takes he takes from his father while he is still alive when the inheritance is given so long as the father is alive the child has to get all that he has all that he needs from the father's hand the inheritance will be transferred to the son according to the will of the father when the father breathes his last <coughs> i don't want you whether you are alive or dead i do not care i want only the wealth i want only the riches that you have accumulated how many children are like that not loving the father not loving the mother just only desiring benefits only desiring wealth only desiring money riches from parents don't we see so many parents in their old age grieving <laughs> at the behavior of youngsters what is the consequence of grieving parents agony loss bhakti hinu nidipamu karuchi yakatlo aripono the lamp of the wicked will be put off in the darkness the lamp was put off the youngest son to call the wealth all the riches did he prosper on the contrary joseph was separated from his father with empty hands jacob joseph was loved so much by jacob likewise joseph also loved jacob what a wonderful bond of love what a wonderful bond of affection 
Joseph took nothing from his father with empty hands he left he was separated on the on the contrary from his father did Joseph lack any good thing what is the difference between the prodigal son and what is the difference between Joseph it's simply the presence and absence of the word of god joseph possessed the word of god and the prodigal son rather than possessing the word of god wanted to possess the temporal riches temporal wealth how long it will last how long the temporal wealth will last don't we see so many billionaires in india itself we have many billionaires taking wealth from their parents afterwards getting separated brothers how much conflict after inheriting so much wealth from their father there is conflict between brothers and the wealth is distributed between the two brothers division 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 where it will end absence of love absence of word of god when there is the presence of the word of god when there is presence of god when there is presence of jesus there will be unity if two brothers were to break like that is there a big thing for states to be broken telangana andhra pradesh is it the end it will further split to split to split to split to split and lead to the splitting of families why absence of humility presence of pride pride goes before fall how good and joyful when brothers live in unity psalm 133 there will be blessing there will be everlasting life i don't want blessing i don't want everlasting life i want only money i want only money i want only money give me my share of money separated two brothers separated children of billionaires only but what is the consequence where it will lead bankruptcy insolvency pride leads to destruction what are the grounding principles on which your father has become a billionaire uh, what is the ground you are standing will you not fall if you stand in a miry clay pride goes before fall on the contrary humility leads to upliftment growth the lord will make my feet like the feet of the deer and lift me to great heights lord lift me to the heights that i cannot climb david what a wonderful humility what a wonderful humility among all the brothers david was neglected david was given sheep and was sent to wilderness on the contrary his brothers was were employed in the army of shaul they were soldiers they have a designation they can say we are in the service of king what is better to serve the queen to serve the king to serve the government as bureaucrats ambassadors or to be the ambassadors of christ itself some trust in horses some trust in riches we trust in the living god David trusted in God what is the consequence even though his father himself has underestimated him and given him a little flock of sheep and sent him into wilderness did David lack any good thing growth comes neither from east nor from west nor from wilderness or from forest growth upliftment development comes from the fear of god humility lord i am a dead dog lord i am a worm what a humility humility means correct estimate of oneself the true estimate of oneself is what is called humility 
David knew who he was. David had a correct estimate of who he is, what he is. Why? Because of his relationship with God. David had the habit of being in the presence of God seven times exclusively, especially in the times of prayer. Each day seven times he used to set apart times special times of praising God all through the day all through the night David has the habit of rejoicing in the word meditating the word during the times of David the law is written the written law is available the word of God is present in the form of scrolls in the form of Torah in the form of scriptures that privilege was absent in the times of Joseph yet Joseph was on the bosom of his father Jacob and Jacob conveyed passed on the message history history how jacob wrestled all through the night with god and how jacob was transformed to israel what is your name my name is jacob you will no longer be called as jacob you will be called israel the prince oh israel we know నిభాగ్యమంత గొప్పది ఏ హోవా రక్షించిన నిన్ను పోలిన వారెవరు ఓ గొప్ప పర్వతమా జరు బాబెలు నడ్డగింపను ఎంత మాత్రపు దానవు నీవనెను చదును భూమిగా మారెదవు chadnu bhumi ga mare davo ru joseph a new generation founded on the rock has been formed through the faithfulness of one person through the humility of one person through the perfect submission of one person jacob went into egypt as as little less 70 hardly 70 people through joseph jacob gained entry into the land of egypt hardly 70 people were there with jacob in the, in the family of jacob his children his daughters in law his grandchildren all together to joseph what a great blessing humble yourself under the mighty arms of the lord that you will be lifted up in due time 70 people were multiplied like 600000 people prophet joseph foretells foresees what god go, what god is going to do with this little flock you will not be so little you will multiply surely your god will visit you on the time on the day when god will give you deliverance from this land and lead you to the promised land that the land the land that has been promised to abraham isaac and jacob forget not you have to take my bones from this land joseph is still alive still having breath in his nostrils yet how wise he is how joseph could foresee four centuries ahead joseph is seeing in the book of genesis chapter 50 joseph could see four centuries ahead behold i am going to be gathered to my ancestors for sure god will visit you god will deliver you god will rescue you he is faithful unto his word i have seen throughout my life the faithfulness of god i have been sold for nothing almost nothing i have been sold for nothing not outsiders only my siblings so called pseudo siblings have sold me for nothing to ishmaelites the traders did i lack any good thing who is at loss who is put to shame behold the lord is going to visit you he is going to deliver you at that time 
when you are led to the promised land the land that is flowing with milk and honey the land the land that is good in the sight of the god of abraham isaac and jacob you should not leave my relics in this land you should take my bones carry my bones with you to the promised land the children of joseph followed the instructions of joseph why they have seen how humble joseph is what a humility joseph has shown what a love joseph has shown to his father in his old age when jacob was in famine in need of grain in agony god revived jacob with the good news that jacob your son is alive your son is very well very well alive he is ruling over israel jacob jacob could not believe his ears see what your son has sent he has sent the chariots he has sent the precious goods valuable things from the land of egypt the king of egypt trusted joseph so much and joseph is only next to the king in the kingdom of israel he was lifted to the throne by your god god is faithful what a great revival what a good news growth upliftment development comes from nowhere except by showing humility to god humble yourself under the mighty arms of the lord that you will be lifted up in due time you might be going through prison you might be going through so many trials temptations tri- tribulations you might be in ashes you might be in the womb of the fish like yona do not remain silent call unto the lord cry out to the lord for help lord i am in trouble the gates of earth are closed forever i am seeing the bottom of the mountains in the oceanic waters sorrows of death are covering my head i am seeing the gates of the hell oh lord rescue me redeem me help me what a wonderful prayer only four chapters the book of yona the fourth chapter shows the difference between practice practicing the presence of god and going away from the presence of god showing humility obedience to the word of god and violating disobeying the word of god that made all the difference that made the difference between heaven and hell lord i am at the gates of the hell the pains and sorrows of death have encompassed me surrounding me deliver me rescue me redeem me help me yona cried out from the womb of the great fish marana puturulalo maruvakamuralida unnata durgamai rakshana srungamai marana puturulalo maruvakamuralida unnata durgamai rakshana srungamai tanalaya mulo namoravinenu adarenu dharani bhaya kampamuche adarenu dharani bhaya kampamuche yehova daya galavari pai daya chupinchunu kathinu layadala vikatamu jupunu daya galavari pai daya chupinchunu kathinu layadala vikatamu jupunu garvistu layokka garvamunana chunu sarvamu nerigina sarvadhikari sarvamu nerigina sarvadhikari yehova 
మరణ ఫోటో రోలలో మరో అకమొరలిడ ఉన్నత దుర్గమై రక్షణ శృంగమై తన ఆలయములో నామొర వినెను అదరెను ధరణి భయ కంపముచే యహోవా పౌరుషమో గల ప్రభు కోపింపగ పార్వతముల పోనాదులు అణకును పౌరుషమో గల ప్రభు కోపింపగ పార్వతముల పోనాదులు అణకును తన నోటా నుండి వాచిన యాగ్ని దహించి వేసెను వైరుల నెల్లను దహించి వేసెను వైరుల నెల్లను యహోవా మేఘముల పై ఆయన వాచును మేఘములను తన మాటుగ జేయును ఉరుములు మెరుపులు మెండుగ జేసి అపజయమేచును అపవాదికిని అపజయమేచును అపవాదికిని యహోవా నా దీపమును వెలిగించువాడు నా చీకటిని వెలుగు గజేయును నా దీపమును వెలిగించువాడు నా చీకటిని వెలుగు గజేయును జలరాసుల నుండి బలమైన చేతితో వెలుపల చేర్చిన బలమైన దేవుడు వెలుపల చేర్చిన బలమైన దేవుడు యహోవా నా కాళ్ళను లెడి కాళ్ళు గజేసి ఎత్తైన స్థలముల శక్తితో నిలపి నా కాళ్ళను లెడి కాళ్ళు గజేసి ఎత్తైన స్థలముల శక్తితో నిలపి రక్షణ కేడెము నాకందించి ఆ క్షయము గతన పాక్షము చేర్చిన క్షయము గతన పాక్షము చేర్చిన యహోవా యహోవా జీవము గల దేవా బహుగా స్థుతులకు అర్హుడ నీవు అన్యజనులలో ధన్యత చూపుచు హల్లెలుయ స్థుతి గానము చేసేద call unto me in the day of trouble and i will answer you i will deliver you god is obliged to deliver you provided the word of the lord is hidden in your heart from your childhood practice to gather much grain and store it in the granary of your heart it will be useful in the time of crisis it will be useful in the time of calamity joseph gathered much grain when the land yielded much harvest and that was surplus that was sufficient for the time of crisis for the time of famine for the time of drought for the time of calamity and how joseph could plan all these things god has shown joseph through the vision that what is going to happen in the next 14 years joseph has foreseen the 14 years joseph has foreseen the four centuries oh lord my times are in your hands david humbled himself lord i am a dead dog i am a worm what am i lord that thou art mindful of what a wonderful humility what a right estimate of oneself everyone look it down upon david what, what is the consequence did david lose anything david himself know who he is david himself is telling lord i am a dead dog i am a worm what am i that thou art mindful of david never complained my father has neglected me my father has given me little flock and sent me to wilderness while my brothers are in the service of the pharaoh while my brothers are in the service of shaul shaul is no different than pharaoh if the presence of god is absent it makes no difference you might be anointed by god himself but if you forsake god you are, you are no different than pharaoh samuel i repent 
this is the second time god is telling that he repents first time god repented during the times of noah noah i repent samuel i repent all the inhabitants of the earth have erased the way everyone has gone in the way they please and the consequences the earth is filled with violence the earth is filled with injustice the earth is filled with corruption and these days are they different from the days of noah these days are they different from the days of shaul are the rulers are any way different from shaul are the rulers fearing god are the rulers doing justice oh lord what am i i am just a child who can rule this great multitude who can rule this great nation i need wisdom from you to rule these people with justice is the justice present i am ruling this nation for 13 years it makes no difference lord i am just a child give me wisdom to rule your people with justice because you wanted to do justice to the least of the little least of this people of mine not only wisdom i will give you wealth riches as the sands of the sea in jaffa in jaffa is there less number of sand grains as the grains of sand in the shores of the sea so will be your riches even though you have not asked for gold even though you have not asked for riches even though you have not asked for silver i will give you the riches as the sands of the shores solomon ruled people with justice because solomon recollected what his father david was how david was blessed by fearing god for 40 years how david ruled over the kingdom of israel solomon has seen and so solomon is asking god lord who can rule this mighty nation i am just a child my knowledge is not sufficient i need wisdom from you to rule your people with justice because you wanted to do justice you wanted to rule people with justice i will give you enormous riches wealth as well in addition to wisdom bodhi vigyana sarva sampada logo uptamay unna vi prabhu nandu wisdom knowledge riches life everlasting are all hidden in the person called jesus christ why it is because again the humility of jesus christ because christ was humble unto death the sacrifice of christ alone is acceptable in the sight of god for the atonement of man no other name only in the name of jesus salvation is promised to man no other name i am holy sadhu i am holy sanyasi i am wearing only saffron cloth i am only wearing white cloth it makes no difference you are no, you are not jesus you are not free from sin it's as simple as that who can claim that he is free from sin except jesus christ christu tapa yavarunu leru maranamu gelachina dhirulu mana daivamo ghana daivamo who can establish that i have sin in me if there is any man that has walked on the face of the earth sinless it is jesus christ that is the only reason why the sacrifice of jesus christ on behalf of all the human race is acceptable in the sight of god as the sin offering as the atonement of sins of mankind whatever may be your iniquities whatever may be your sins if you confess your sins come to jesus christ and confess god will cleanse all your unrighteousness and make you as the new born child pure as the new born child only the pure in heart 
can see God. Lord, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Who is asking? No simple person. He is the teacher of law. What 